What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new Jolly Bees video. Now in today's video we're actually discussing the brand new just recently announced Jolly Bees Phase 2. So as you guys know we played the original Jolly Bees on the channel and you guys really really enjoyed that game and a lot of you guys were actually from the Philippines and like shared a bunch of insight on like the locations and stuff like that. So it was a super fun game to play through with all of you guys. Well there's now a Phase 2 coming up and there are a ton of teasers over on the Game Jolt page along with a trailer and I figure you know what let's go ahead and hop into it in today's video. Let's check out all the teasers. Let's check out the game or the game jolt trailer i guess i should say let's break it all down and see what jolly Bees phase 2 has in store for us but of course let's see if we can crush 5,000 likes on this video okay if we can crush 5k likes then i will do a full-on series on jolly Bees phase 2 as soon as it releases because from what i've from what i've seen you know the little bit of snippets and stuff like that from the game it looks like it's going to be really really cool but let's go ahead and get into the breakdown so we're going to go and start with the story for the game and then we're going to get into the teaser images and then we're going to watch the trailer and i'll give my thoughts on it all after that but let's go and start with the story so it says august 17th 2037 three days after the closure of Jolly Bees because of health code violations the animatronics are sent out for further investigation it is your job to guard the animatronics before they are shipped to another location so that's interesting so it's three days after the closure of the original Jolly Bees because of you know they had those health code violations if you guys remember there was that guy and that was like dropping stuff into the food and stuff like that from the intro it was it was crazy um, but it looks like they're being sent out for further investigations to some kind of a warehouse and our job is to guard them while they're being shipped to another location so maybe they're like at one warehouse but they have to go to like another one and our job is just to make sure no one tampers with them and nothing goes wrong that, that's what it seems like at least and that's all the storyline that we currently have for the game um besides like the people that are working on it and stuff like that but let's go ahead and get into some of the teasers and break them down so we're gonna go and start with this one right here and it says phase two will begin in three and uh it looks like we have obviously one of the characters right there i i honestly i don't remember their names from i mean completely honest with you guys because you know it's mostly about the jump scares and the character design and stuff like that so i didn't really learn all of their names but all of you guys know all their names if you're from the philippines and stuff like that because every time you got jump scared by someone you guys would be like oh my god that was this character and it was insane but it looks like that's the female character right there and she is laying down on the floor or like pushed up against a wall it looks like and of course you got like the static shock or sh shock <laughs> this static effect right here on the actual image so it looks like we're on some kind of like a camcorder or maybe a camera system actually watching her and uh yeah it looks like she's already started to move from the looks of it anyways the next screenshot we got right here is actually not titled and it looks like maybe an office or some some sort of location in a factory i mean you could definitely tell like there's an exit door right there on the right side with the giant exit sign i mean obviously it's some kind of an exit door and then you've got like a desk right there but there's no monitor on it which is a little strange but still there's like a desk chair right there to the left too and like a trash can so this definitely appears to be somebody's office now the weird thing about this office is if it's if that's the exit then it's leading into the factory section so maybe there's like another exit in there but this i don't know it's just it looks like a very weird place to be an office like it could be some kind of like a check-in area like you go through here you have to check yourself in before actually going into like the main factory i honestly don't know i mean there's another desk on the left side too so it seems like it's some kind of like a cubicle or not cubicle like some kind of office work area from the looks of things but honestly i have no idea the next screenshot we have here is another look inside of the factory and you can tell this is on some kind of a camera system them because i mean obviously it's up in the air like this and i'm assuming you know we're gonna see animatronics moving through here this might be like our first look at the actual camera system in the game um yeah so i'm guessing that's probably what this is like animatronics will probably pop up on this camera and actually be like staring up at us or something like that but i don't see anything that stands out i don't see anything secret like maybe there's like an animatronic over there but I don't see anything it looks like it's just like a basic image of you know just a part of the factory now the next screenshot we have here is another section of the factory once again this looks like no i was gonna say maybe a camera angle but no there wouldn't be a camera on the ga uh, on the ground like this so maybe this is just like one of those parts that we can actually like free roam and explore through because as you guys know in the original jolly bees every night had like its own kind of mini game to it so maybe this is like the section that takes place in like one of these mini games you know like the lighting everything like that and by the way i just realized the lighting in the original screenshot was red, but now it's turned green. So maybe certain things will turn turn the color of the lights to a different color. So like they'll turn from red to green, you know, or, or green to red. Like if something bad happens, that's what that seems like at least. But anyways, next screenshot we have here is, okay, that looks like the same screenshot as before. Yeah, it is, but a closer up angle. And we now have a character just staring at us right there. And, uh, oh man, that is Jolly Bee and, oh, it looks, it looks creepy. I, oh, I don't know. It, they, I, I read something on this page when I was actually, before I did the breakdown video, and they were talking about how they're changing the design of the animatronics so that they actually look more lifelike. So they're going off of what the actual, like, in real life version of these guys look like. That's what they're going to model them like. So these are going to be, like, very lifelike 
Jolly Bee animatronics, okay? They're not going to be like in the other game from what I read, and I love that idea. I love that they're going more lifelike and inanimate and like, oh, it's it's going to be so creepy. But yeah, this guy's just staring at us, you know, just just casually staring at us. Obviously, the lights are red now, so they do change from the looks of it. And yeah, that is ew, creepy. Um, then the next screenshot we have here, and this is just the, the basic one, so I might not even show up, but it's just like the number two with Jolly Bee's face in it, just kind of staring through it. And uh, yeah, that is all the teasers that we have right here. Now, what well, the weird thing about this is there was other teasers up here, but they deleted them and they left those up there for some reason, but they're still here at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these up on screen and we're going to kind of break these down too, because these are crazy looking. So the first one we have right here is of course that character with the blonde hair that we met. Um, I think, what were we repairing? I think we were repairing like some kind of a slide or something like that when he was like making his way towards us or maybe we were mopping I honestly don't remember like I feel like it's been like a year since we've played Jolly Bees even though it hasn't been it, it like 100% has not been a year but it, it feels like it has been let me see it's only been six months what that is crazy it feels like we played Jolly Bees like a long time ago. I mean, I guess I'm thinking of like the demo and stuff like that, but yeah, it feels like it's been way longer. But yeah, he's just kind of staring, staring at us. You know, his hat looks like it's flipped upside down or something. I don't know what's wrong with this guy's hat. <laughs> And uh, he's just he's just watching us now. We got another one. Oh, yeah, by the way on the bottom left It says play now the next one here. It says hide and obviously she is staring at us, too And she has one eye from the looks of it like one red eye And I, I think this is more or less just to, like showcase what the animatronics are gonna look like in the new game um, I don't know if this is before or after the rework I'm assuming this is after though, but they look creepy either way then after that we got alert We got this guy right here, and he's just staring at us like the hamburglar you guys remember him from the first game <laughs> I remember the Hamburglar and he is just he still looks like he has a hamburger for the top of his head and he's just he's now he's got like some Bob the Builder glasses on from the looks of it and he's just he's of course staring at us like everyone else now we have this one which I I can't even say the word on the bottom left I'm assuming at least and she is slowly popping out of the container so it looks like all these guys yeah it's gonna take place in this factory this main factory location and I'm assuming it's all gonna be on cameras and we're gonna be able to actually like flip through cameras and they'll like show up on different hallways throughout the factory and kind of be like watching us from far away as they slowly make their way towards that exit door that we saw before like that office type area that seems like where we're gonna be stationed or I mean maybe they could throw a curveball and this could be like all free room I would love that idea like instead of having like the typical night system and you know like the night system which even even like what they did before was still nice though like where it was like a night system then after every night you had like your own unique mini game I would really like to see a Jollibee's game where they just ditch the whole night system because like every FNAF fan game for whatever reason I, I guess it makes sense because you know you're basing it it's a fnaf fan game so it's like based off of fnaf but i would love to see them take like a different route where they kind of ditch the whole night system like keep the night system but just change it up you know like not where we're just stationary in one location but instead you can actually like roam around to different locations do different objectives do different things you know kind of make it its own kind of thing instead of just you know uh you know just a fnaf fan game but either way they always change it up regardless and no ends, ends up being like its own unique thing but the final image you guys have already seen so i'm not really going to share it but it's just that that original jolly bees image that we saw um, um, where it's just, it just says Enraged at the bottom, but it's the same image that we saw before, where he's just kind of watching us from far away, um, Jolly Bee, and just staring at us. Now, let's go ahead and get into the trailer here, and give this a watch. Now, the title of it is Lost Tape, and it's just got, like, VHS 1, oh, 11, 10, 2017, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, so, like, November 10th, 2017. Let's go ahead and hit play, though, and get into this. All right, here we go. Okay, dark screen. Oh, here we go. What the heck? This seems so official. Jolly Bee's ad proposal. Do not steal property of Jolly Entertainment. It's like, oh, this is like one of the original ads. That's one of the first ones. Yeah, that's the location before it got shut down. Uh-oh. Here we go. What's going to happen? It's going to show something crazy. Okay, what's happening? Oh, no. Something's going to pop up. It's going to show, like, one of the new animatronics, like, their new design or something. Okay, what's going on? What on earth? This tape is like glitching out for sure. Like something's gonna pop up, but it's taking a long time to show something. It kind of looks like there's stuff like moving in the background, but I think that's just like the lighting. I don't think there's anything actually there. 
Okay. Is it... What happened? <laughs> Did the tape... End? No, oh wow, there's still a lot left in this trailer. There's like two minutes. So something's bound to happen, right? <laughs> Imagine, it's just like... Oh! What the heck? Okay, come on! <laughs> Why do that? I am so happy I didn't have my volume super loud. I was gonna turn it up too. I was gonna be like, oh, no, I need to turn this up so I can hear. Oh, this is the new version. Okay, version two. What the heck was that? Dude, that would have been so loud. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. What? Ugh. Oh no, now what's it gonna show? Another jump scare. That was so creepy though. Ugh. What the heck was that? Oh my. Ugh, is that the puppet? It looks like some kind of version. I don't know if they're. Would the puppet be in a Jolly Bees fan game though? I don't know if they're like linking it into the original FNAF lore or what. Oh, things are changing. Oh, what the. Oh my. Oh, a mini game. Ooh, we're following someone. Oh. Phase one. Wait, that was phase one. Now we're going into phase two, right? Property of Jolly Entertainment Robotic Research Division. I think we're going into phase two now. That's what, that's what we saw from before. Where they got the health code violation, right? Wasn't it because of him? I think he dropped something into the food or something, right? Oh, man. This has me hyped, man. They. This is really well done. Phase two, proposals. Oh, that is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, that guy's not scary. The hamburger would never be scary just because of those glasses and his hamburger head, but that's it. The other ones are, oh, they're unsettling. Yeah, this is cool. I love this type of old, like, vintage VHS. Like, oh, it's creepy. Please consult the latest memo. Okay, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And then it just cuts off. Oh, man, that was cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring it up, and let's go ahead and break it down real quick. So it, it starts off, like, all normal. Like, look at all their faces in this screenshot right here. Like, they all look normal. Let me go and turn on Fantasia. But they all look completely normal in this, right? And then, like, as you get to, like, later on down the line, look at their faces. Oh, no, it doesn't show them on this one. It shows them right on this one, right? Does it show them on here? Well, e either way, like, you can see, like, look at the look at him. Look right there. Look at their faces. Oh, it's creepy. They have, like, the black eyes, and they're just staring at you. They're like, look at him. Oh, my. That is, oh, that's creepy. His eyes almost look like they're, like, upside down or something. They're, like, hollowed out. Like, that is something that if I, like, walked into Chuck E. Cheese late at night, and that was what the animatronic looked like, like, it was just hollowed out looking and just, yeah, I would, I would run away. That is such an unsettling image. And, like, you've got the other versions of them, too, which... It's just, it's so unsettling. They did a really good job at making this unsettling. But I hope that they carry this over, like, from the trailer into, like, the actual game and keep it, like, this creepy feeling. Because it's got that, like, very creepy vibe to it. Oh, yeah, and then we got this. Oh, that, I forgot all about it. This jump scare. Wait, when does it happen? When does it happen? I think it's after this. No. It's it's a quick little jump scare. It's got to be, like, right before this, right? Where, where the heck does it happen? I saw it. It literally happened at some point. This is this one. No, it would be before this. But, like, just, like, seeing, like, waiting all that time and then just that super creepy jump scare was just something else. I, I literally can't get it to pop up. But it seems like, like, throughout this training tape, things bad things just kept happening over and over and over again. Like, it started off so happy. Like, so, like, it was still a little creepy. Like, that shaky cam at the logo and stuff like that. And then just, like, these guys, like, they looked creepy there. That was, like, from the original one. And then as it just slowly progresses and just gets more and more just... Ugh, it's just I, I wonder if I missed anything else but yeah like these they all look the same here I wonder is it the same from no look wait oh no I thought Car yeah see see she's missing she was here and then if you go to this one now she's gone oh boy and wait does it say I hope we don't for we haven't wait what that say at the end we haven't we haven't forgotten you oh yes you have you better forget me and then it just kind of goes through this again. And then, of course, we get this version of Jolly Bee right there with the hollowed out eyes and stuff like that. And it's it's unsettling just because, like, their color is off. Like, they're, they've are they got, like, this weird, I don't know, like, retro tint to them. I don't know how to describe it, but just something about them is so off. And then, of course, she's missing her head here, which is just 
awesome. <laughs> and then he's like completely in the dark. It, oh, that's from the mini game. Yeah, that's what we were repairing right there, this thing. Uh, but yeah, and then of course you got like a look at the mini games, which it looks like we're an animatronic actually walking through Jolly Bees and actually like exploring. And then of course we got like this night guard character. I'm assuming that's the guy who probably, um, you know, who you see right here in this tape. That might be who that is, but honestly, I just I have no idea. But yeah, either way, it's it's got some good creepiness to it. What is it? Oh, th this was creepy too. Oh, they look so just. Oh, like look, that is. That is something of nightmares. That is literally something of nightmares. I might actually... This might be like the first fan, fan game that like gives me nightmares about like the, the characters. Because that is... The eyes on that are just so realistic and just so unsettling. This is the only guy that's... I'm still like... He looks goofy. <laughs> he looks goofy. This man, like I say, he's got his Bob the Builder glasses on. He's got his Hamburglar helmet. Like this guy just... I, I can't take him seriously. But the other ones... That is weird. Like one eye like creaked open and the other one just, ah, uh, it's, it's so weird. Uh, and then of course you got her, which let's pause on her. That, uh, her little eyes, the, the fact that they're so tidy is just so strange. And then Jollibee himself, which I mean, he doesn't look too creepy. He still looks weird, but like not as weird as the other one. Now, I really want to find this scene where the jump scare happened because I know it, it's like, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, right there. Look at... Oh, wait. Oh, let's pause. Look at this. So, I'm going to pause it like the perfect... Look at that. Oh, that is... That is something else. I love that. That I love. That is... That is a whole other level of creepy. Look at the teeth. Look at the eyes. Oh, man. That has me so excited. Like, this is exciting because it's, it's so creepy. And then it shows... Oh, that's her right there against the wall. And then, look, she covers her eyes. And then she's gone. Oh my, I can't, dude. I can't with this. This is too creepy. So, yeah, guys, that was Jollibee's phase two. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on this right here for the rest of the video. So, let me know what you guys think. Okay, comment down below, okay? Did you think this was scary or not scary? Okay, comment down below, scary if you thought it was scary or not scary if you didn't think it was scary at all. I, I imagine a lot of you guys are going to be sca saying scary because me personally, yeah, I'm creeped out. I am very creeped out. I just, I really hope that this carries over to the main game, okay? Like, I hope the trailer isn't really creepy and then you get in the main game and it's just like a jump scare fetch. Like, I want a really creepy Jollibee's fan game. Like, they're going for that realistic you know, style, and I want them to keep that and go through with it, and I want it to be just like this trailer. I want it to be like this image right here. This image sums up what I want the entire game to be like. Just creepy, okay? Whether that means, like, they gotta take, like, I don't know, like, they gotta, like, stray away from the typical FNAF-style fan game, which I would be perfectly okay with. Like, I don't know what how they're gonna play this out. I don't know if it's gonna be the same thing as the first one, where it's, like, a survive the night system, and then after the night, you gotta do mini games, or if they're gonna take it a whole different route, but I'm, I'm hoping that they take it a whole different route. Like, I'd be perfectly fine if they kept it the same route that they're doing now, where it's, like, a night system, then mini games, but... I just, if they take it a whole nother route, I think it would just be insane. I think it would be crazy. And uh, there's a lot that could be done with this game. I'm excited though. It seems like surprisingly, they're already pretty well into developing the game. I mean, it's been five months. Um, I was expecting not to have anything, you know, Jollibee's related until like, you know, probably June or something like that. But I mean, maybe at this rate, we could be getting the game sometime in June, July, or maybe, I don't know, it could be like the end of the year. We really don't know. But either way, I'm super excited. If you guys are too, like I said, let's crush 5 k likes on this video, and I'll definitely do a playthrough on it when it's released. And I am excited. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.